Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another breakdown. Let's go. You're going to think this is maybe deja vu. I've seen this look before somewhere. Maybe it was in the 10 other commercials we broke down that followed this exact same floor plan layout. You've seen it before. We've broken it down before. But maybe that makes this video a little bit quicker than all the others. You should see all of the things here that we always talk about. They're bundled into one. You still have to do a good job of it. But it's short. It's sweet. Now, is this... Uh, The Godfather? No. Do you want to do feature films? Do you? Why? Ask yourself why you want to tell stories. Anyway, this is commercials. This is what the dream is, right? You want to be selling stuff for other people. You want to be selling stuff for the man and getting paid for it. And this is how you do it really, really nicely. You want to talk about a beautiful looking spot. Two people talking in a kitchen. They're having breakfast. You, if you are a cinematographer, let's say this is you, right? You're going to do this a hundred times in your career. You're going to get really, really bored. You're going to have to come up with ways to make it interesting. Uh, and this is you, right? Actually, this is the director. Look, I got this great idea. This is you. <gasps> really? What are we going to do? Four by three? No, we're going to do it anamorphic. <laughs> anamorphic? What is this, 2019? No. No, really, it's going to be 16.9. Silly. <laughs> you think the agency would go for anamorphic? And cut. There you go, right there, right? Now, uh, again, this is a beautiful looking spot, right? I guess, is it all about the location? No, but it plays a huge role. What don't we see? Uh, white walls. What do we see? Shears, curtains, the combo. Let's get more shears out here. Nobody open up any windows. That's going to look horrendous. And then, of course, yes, we're not... On a studio set here, people, we want to see the ceiling. And I love the room. Do we have to take them all off? Practicals on. Just open up the blinds, sweetheart. And more. What is that? Prac reflection. I like how the door is tilted just so you can see it. This, when you start seeing this many layers in there, you're like, man, they had a lot of time on set with the DP just staring at the monitor going, how do I, how do I get through another day of my life like this? Let's try. So we are do this little push-in, which is nice, right? Like this is, has got all of the great elements. This is why it looks so nice. We've got the dark colored wood. We've got the beautiful production design, the art with the colored fruit mixed with the sweater, mixed with the hair, mixed with the skin tones. Let's throw a couple of these bad boys in there too. What are they, little samurai guys over there? Let's do that. And what do these guys do, puzzles? Huh? Puzzles? And the sit down? I like that. Oh, look at that perfect level of haze in the room too. And you can... I guess you can sense it, but you can't really see it. You don't want it like floating away from your practicals. If you have too much haze, then you can sort of see it as it makes its way around the room. And it's a tell for any lights inside. So if you have lights inside in the background back here and you've got too much haze, you start to see the haze lit up and that's not what you want. You just want to give it that nice little soft contrasty look. Uh, so a little push in. And now what makes this whole shot, right? What makes this whole thing really, really easy is... Uh, this guy starting over here, coming around, and then he's going to cross the line and we're going to shoot into the shadow, right? Shooting into the shadow and really positioning this lady relative to this window is key for the entire spot. You could make this really, really hard on yourself and you could put her in this chair and she could be facing, this is her, she could be facing this way. Then she's facing away from the light. So now you're going to have to light it from inside. It's going to be really hard and complicated to do that because then you're going to have to balance the ratios just right to make it feel realistic. You don't want it to feel like there's a light over here. It has to feel like wrapped light, which is hard, right? We're not that good. Why struggle against it, right? Maybe this person is that good, um, but we're not. So we're not going to do it that way. We're going to make it as easy as we can on ourselves. Let's keep all the lights outside. Just put everything out there, right? It doesn't matter what time of day you schedule this. You can just light up the shears. In fact, it's better if this is in the shade all day. That way you can just light it up and you can be in here for your full eight hours. 10, if you're lucky, uh, the crew will just be loving you. You just drag it out a little bit longer. Ooh, I think we might need to tweak something here. All of a sudden, 10 hours kicks in. That's the look on all the crew's face. Boom, and overtime starts. <gasps> what, you wanna do what? Do you wanna change the lighting altogether? We can do that, we can tear it all down. Like, yep, and I've got a lighting diagram. pa -da. So when you get in here, this is why, why this other shots look so nice is because of this setup, right? Person here, person here. Main light source is the one that we're not going to be able to see. And then we're going to use the background sources, this window and this window over here, which we're about to see in this shot. Ta-da! We're going to use those to sell our levels. So the only difference between the lighting here in this shot 
and the lighting here is now, because we can't see this window, we're gonna have this little bit of shoulder in here, we can bring the diffusion way closer. And then we can have this window back here, which is either doing this, this little number here, this little backlight separation thing here, or we're bringing in something from over here or above here if it's anamorphic. You can do the old reach around sometimes with anamorphic. Um, but the important thing is here, if you're a veteran of the show, you'll know as long as you don't get the person's nose, it's a pretty good angle, right? Just that little tiny bit of separation makes all of the difference. What else makes all the difference? The color of the wall, the art direction back there. Let's get the practical on, a little bit of level here. You don't want it too distracting. Curtain, shears layers right one two then three four is the wall and we've got window back there as well lots and lots of different layers just pack in as many as you can right even the chair with the little reflection here little thing there it's just a nice looking shot right? it looks it's a beautiful shot again beautiful shot why l of the room shears nothing the hottest highlight in the whole thing is this lady's skin all of this matching hair matching outfit Nice roll off into the shadows, her facing over here, the light. Yes, it's true. Yes, it is. Now it feels like she's got a little bit of something coming back this way, but you set that on the day. You're looking at the monitor. Ooh, it's a little bit crunchy. Just bring in a little poly there. Yes, please. And same thing, layers upon layers upon layers. I also like this. Just give us a little look down so we don't want too many crazy reflections going on. Ooh, we got a little bit there. And then we punch in down the line. Ta-da. Ta-da. And I think we're out. Ooh, even closer, right? I like this. Just hang the diffusion on like a little C-stand. That way, oh, it looks like the shears. Who knows? Maybe it is. I doubt it. A little push in. And we're going to end on, ta-da, sun over here. Lighten this up back here. This is all soft. We tilt up and logo. Yes. Ta-da. Oops. So. Really, it's a very basic commercial, but you're gonna do this a hundred times. And if you wanna work lots, you make it look like this. Uh, if I was a director, I'd be like, man, I want my thing, my two people talking in the kitchen, I want it to look like this. What do I have to do? Let's get that cinematographer. Let's get that production designer and let's do it. Yes, I'm amazed. Cars, yum. Anyway, you get the point. It takes a whole lot of things, but this is a really basic, simple setup. You see it, it works. This is not the first time we've looked at this exact setup. It's just a different commercial. Uh, you get where this is going, right? Who wants to do feature films? Who cares about story? Just spend your day selling this stuff, whatever it is, okay? Insurance or something? Ta-da, yay. Everybody's happy. You go home and you watch YouTube videos. Okay, that's gonna do it for this one. Many thanks. We will see you 